guys, it's Jaren from Oleander and Palm, and I have a little how-to for you today. I made these salt dome ornaments last year, and it's become one of my most popular posts on my blog, and I get a lot of questions about it, so I thought I would um, give you a little how-to video. Um, salt dough should be something that um, is reminiscent of your, I don't know, third grade elementary <laughs> classroom. Um, there's nothing fancy about it. This is not my recipe. This is the recipe that every good teacher uses. It's very simple. You just need two cups of flour, one cup of salt, one cup of water. Put it in a, a bowl of a mixer and mix it up. Or you can just mix it by hand as well, but just with an electric mixer is a lot faster with a paddle. And you'll get about three times this amount of dough and it lasts um, a few days, maybe even a few weeks. I, to my kids tend to play with it and have it done in about a week, but in a plastic bag so it doesn't dry out. And um, you should have a nice soft pliable dough that um, doesn't crack very much. So um, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna roll it out. And I like to use parchment paper to roll it out. Um, it's for two reasons. One, it doesn't stick. And then two, um, it's a better way to transport your finished ornaments to your cookie tray for baking and drying. Um, you just peel away all the extra pieces and then you don't have to move your ornaments and mess with them and they stay put and you can just transport them on the um, parchment paper. So to start off with, you're just going to roll out, uh, I wouldn't roll out all your dough, just a portion of it to start with. Just roll out a portion of your dough in between two pieces of parchment paper. And you're gonna roll it out. <laughs> and that's Olivia. Okay, so in between two pieces of parchment paper, you're gonna roll out your dough to about a quarter inch. You want it pretty um, even, just so that um, the drying time is um, the same for if you have a thick end or a thin end it may dry differently and change the color of it or something so you definitely want to get it as even as possible so you'll have your little piece here you can pick it up and move it around and it should come out nice and smooth yeah so if you can play with that a little bit just if you're a perfectionist it may take you longer okay then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the stamping part of the ornament and I'm gonna swap this out for one that I started with so you're just gonna use regular old um, rubber stamps from the craft store. This bird is my favorite one, and I'm gonna try this Hello one, and I have some snowflakes and a little chevron pattern. So, and you're gonna use just a regular um, ink pad. I use black, I haven't tried another color, but I feel like black just stands out nicely on the dough. Okay, so ink up your, um, your stamp. your stamp. Make sure we get it well covered. Now the trick with this is to press hard enough that you actually get the um, impression of the stamp. Oops. <laughs> well we won't use that part of the dough. Um, but you don't press hard enough that you get that kind of ring around the stamp, the ugly part that you don't want. So just wiggle it a bit. And that's not too bad. There's a little bit of a um, ring there, but not too bad. And we can do another one. So you want to space them enough that um, you have room to cut in between. And stamp this guy. Wiggle it around a tiny little bit so the whole bird shows up. Beautiful, lovely. And then I use just simple round cookie cutters, but you could use a glass too. Um, the nice thing about these cookie cutters is you can see through to line up exactly where the middle is. So you're gonna line up on your bird. 
the middle of your ornament and cut. And then you're gonna use a regular old drinking straw for your hole that you'll put your twine or string or ribbon through later. And you just push that through. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut out the rest of these just really quickly here. drying you are going to dry it in the oven at 250 degrees for um, about three hours you may need a little bit longer and you definitely want to watch it close at three hour point because they can start to brown around the edges and you don't really want that color change you just want to speed up the drying process they could be air dried um, I think it would just take a long time so I think the oven helps speed it up so once you have your um, images stamped and then you've cut out around them, you're just going to pull away all the extra dough, okay? Now it is a little bit fiddly because you don't want to change the shape of your ornaments at all. So you're going to pull away all of that extra dough and yes, you can use that dough again. So put it in your little Ziploc bag because we will roll out more. And you're just going to keep pulling away all the way around. And then, so I'm not wasting your time, keep pulling away. Okay, so once you have all that pulled away, and you may need to get um, a little knife or something to pull away along the edges. Okay, so I got these all peeled away and you're going to bake these in the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for three hours and so that they're totally dry. And then you can add your twine or any other little decorations. I tied these to gifts last year and we put some on our tree as well, but they are the most inexpensive ornaments you could make. I honestly think the dough probably costs less than a dollar to make. Yeah, it does because it's only a cup of salt which is a thing of salt is less than a dollar, and then two cups of flour. So you can make probably like 30 or 40 ornaments for less than a dollar. So that's pretty fantastic. I hope you guys found this helpful. And um, if you make some ornaments, post some pictures on my Oleander and Palm Facebook page. I'd love to see them. And I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas.